The intent of this video is to provide you with the basic understanding of how to install your plug-in dimmer Insteon starter kit, part number 2490. When you're done installing this starter kit, you'll be able to conveniently control two plug-in lamps in your home from a plug-in tabletop controller. This starter kit consists of one control link plug-in tabletop controller, two lamp link modules, and two signal link RF modules. The signal link RF modules are essential to any Insteon network. Once installed, they will allow you to incorporate any number of controllable Insteon enabled devices for your home, including lighting fixtures, lamps, and appliances. The starter kit already provides two lamp modules to get you started. First, set up the signal links. Take the first signal link and fully extend its antenna before plugging it into an outlet. Press and hold the set button for 10 seconds and release. The signal link LED will blink quickly, four times per second, and will continue to blink until you complete the signal link setup. Now it's time to plug in your second signal link. Find another outlet somewhere else in the house. You'll want to be sure that when the second signal link is plugged in, its LED is blinking the same as the first signal link. If it's blinking slowly, that means the two outlets you've chosen are on the same electrical phase in your home. Find an outlet that is on the opposite electrical phase. It's easy. You'll know you're on the opposite phase when your second signal link blinks quickly when you plug it in. Go back to the first signal link and tap the set button. The blinking will stop on both signal links. This indicates successful setup between the two signal links. Now you can install your first lamp link module for control of your favorite lamp. You will install your second lamp link to your second lamp of choice after you've installed your control link. That's coming up. So, first, turn your lamp on. Then, unplug it from the outlet. Next, plug it into the receptacle at the bottom of the lamp link. Finally, plug the lamp link into the outlet. For your convenience, the lamp link features a pass-through outlet, which is a receptacle for plugging in another non-controlled device. Now it's time to give you remote control of your lamp by linking the lamp link to the control link. The control link has on and off buttons for five unique channels. It also has all on and all off buttons and dim and bright buttons. First, plug the control link into any outlet in your home. Second, choose the channel to control your lamp from. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll choose channel 1. Press and hold the on button at channel 1 for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you'll hear a beep and the control link's LED will begin flashing. The control link is now ready to link to the lamp link. Go back to your lamp link and press and hold the set button for three seconds. The lamp will flash, indicating successful linking, and the control link will beep once. Now you can turn the light on and off from your control link using the channel 1 on and off buttons. You can dim or brighten your light using the dim and bright buttons. Once you have multiple lamps linked to the control link, you'll be able to turn all your lights on and off together using the all on or all off buttons. Now go back and repeat the lamp link and control link setup for a second lamp, but this time use channel 2. Once you have done this, your starter kit setup is complete. With additional lamp link modules, part 2456D3, you can expand your control to include more lamps. And with the appliance link modules, part 2456S3, you can enjoy remote control of your favorite appliances. You can even remotely control light fixtures by simply changing out existing wall switches for the Insteon switch link. Pretty soon you'll be able to turn every light in your home on and off with the press of a button. That's the magic of Insteon. For more information and for advanced programming features, go to www.smarthome.com.